Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. You are greatly appreciated. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the fears of what light and ask that you see only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you and returned to you as we speak. All blockages and chains the enemy has put into your life, into your pathway, your destiny, they are all removed and returned to the enemies themselves permanently. Okay? All evil and negative plans against you by your enemies are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak, honey. As I have said, and so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into this terror reading. For for so for someone out there, while things are turning in your favor, okay, someone is going through it behind the scenes. Someone has been trying to force their way into your life to cause you a tower. This could be a family, a couple, someone you're familiar with. For some of you, this could be your family, or this is the a group of people that have gotten together to do something to you, cause you some type of ending. They've been very determined to take you down, but they're going through some type of ending, okay? There could be some type of court case that's very disastrous. There could be some type of situation going behind the scenes that's very disastrous. A leader could be going through some type of ending as well. This family invested in something and they were expecting to get some type of fulfillment out of this, but all it really left was them being left was them being trapped in their minds. Some of them could have illegal issues coming in. There's some type of magic these people do. These people are burdened by the fact that they cannot take you down. They were never meant to take you down and they never will be able to take you down. Disappointment for them. I will say sorry for your disappointments, but that's ridiculous to say something like that because you guys are trying to destroy someone's life, someone's future, someone's destiny. This is a dark uh, operation that's going on and maybe people didn't know about it. There is a dominant figure in here that wants to keep going. These people are fighting. These people have cursed their generations to come. Their lineage, their bloodlines are all cursed because of who they came after. Someone ego gets the best of them. Someone basically did not want people seeing the truth about you. So they've been doing something to interfere with either like you're like you being seen, you being heard, that people knowing you're still alive. This is something where either someone went into a group of people that you were uh, poor living on the street, down and out, you were rejected, nobody wanted to work with you. Some of them, they told people that you were not here anymore, that you have been unalive, you passed away from some type of disease, and because they wanted you to they wanted people to believe that you have passed away from a disease. They may have even tried to hire someone to infect you with some type of disease. Someone also have been doing some type of mental magic as far as your vision. One, they don't want you remembering something, so they do something at nighttime. Someone does their magic at nighttime. They will, you know, send you energy where it's like, you don't remember this. This never happened. You're not getting your downloads, but it's not working, okay? Your destiny has something to do with you being able to have your downloads or have some type of understanding, having that gift of discernment. And your gift of discernment is so, so strong, is that whatever it is they're doing to put a halt to it, it's not working. Every time they do something to interfere with your discernment, your discernment is getting better and better. So in a sense, your enemies have been helping you. This whole situation that was orchestrated because this was planned out by a group of people, okay, that formed some type of alliance just to take someone down, cause conflict in someone's life, cause stagnation and stalemates and things like that in someone's life because someone wanted to be able to manifest off of your energy, harvest off of your energy. They cannot. Someone does not have permission. They don't have the authority to do that and no one really ever has the authority to manifest off of another person's energy but when you don't know that you have this abundance attached to you when you don't know that you are an earth angel if you don't know you are a star sea right people will be able to misuse your energy until you find out and a lot of the times in these situations people don't find out till it's too late when they've drained you of all your resources and then you're poor 
at the age of 90 or something and you're realizing you didn't accomplish anything in life that's because you were living in darkness your whole life you had a purpose but you stayed around or stay in a community for so long that they took your future away from you there's something where they were not able to do this to a star scene they were not able to hold you within a community or block your future. Someone thought they had blocked all avenues of your life being prosperous. They say like every opportunity they get, I'm going to go in and block it. They get a new job, I'm going to go in and block it. They get, uh, they start some type of new business, I'm going to go in and block it. They do this, I'm going to go in and block it. Get a new love offer, I'm going to go speak ill of them to that person so that person can reject them. Someone has been, <laughs> someone has been very busy. They've invested a lot of time into their own blockages, their own downfall. So they were expecting you to be in this energy, living with anxiety, fear, distancing yourself from people, living in fear of other people, not knowing who you can trust and who you cannot trust. You don't care. Someone is finding out that you don't care if you can trust people or not because you already know what the world is ahead of you. You already see things from a grander scale. You see the bigger picture. I'm telling you, you see the bigger picture, you know your future, where you're headed, what's ahead of you, what the Most High has promised you. So you're not focused on what these people are doing. They're focused on you. Someone has an obsession with you. This is why they're not telling people. You're like a drook for someone. I can't say the actual word because YouTube, I don't want YouTube being in my content. But someone, you're like a drook for someone. They're addicted to you, okay? They have to have access to you. Someone has been stalking you. Some of them have been watching you. It's like they wake up in the morning, forget to brush their teeth, wash their face, wash their behind. Some of them don't even wash their behinds. They're just focused on you. And they've been determined to destroy you, but you're standing your ground and it's pissing someone off. Someone has manifested endings for themselves thinking that they were manifesting it for you. It's not so. Someone is headed to poverty. This is a narcissist that feels determined and feels entitled to being able to take you down, but you already defeated this person. And judgment was already caught in this situation on these people before they even started taking action. And this is what they don't know. When you don't have foresight of a situation, you don't have foresight of the future. You don't understand where you're participating in, what you're stepping into. This is how you will feel like you have the upper hand and you can keep doing something malicious, not knowing that your, your fate is already sealed. Someone has been going to an elder in a community to get some type of advice on how they should proceed. You need to proceed with caution. That's what they will tell you. They should tell you if your elder in your community or whoever you're going to for advice is actually wise, they'll tell you you need to proceed with caution and put an end to this nonsense because your future is looking bleak, poor, impoverished. You see how someone is coming out every time they, they are, are receiving something. They're about to have victory. What do you do? You cause a tower. But the universe gives them something even better, right? And then you get in there again and cause some type of manipulation, some type of conflict. This is what you've been doing. But at the end, this is you and this is you. That's the end for you, okay? It's not for the star seed. It is all, I'm telling you, these star seeds, this is them. Judgment has been called. The decision has been made. They are going to have wish fulfillment. They are going to be successful. People have been trying to temper with these star seeds independence, their fulfillment. They say you cannot have a good life. Like, who are you to decide what someone can have? You don't even have authority in your own life, okay? You don't have authority in your life. Someone may want to come towards you to pick a fight with you. They just want to get you out of balance. They say you're too balanced. No, we don't want to believe you've achieved self-mastery. You're too young to achieve self-mastery. We're in our 40s, our 50s, our 60s, our 70s, and we haven't achieved self-mastery. How dare you, that's younger than us, achieve self-mastery? Why is it that everything we're doing to keep you stuck in your mind, to bring you legal issues are not working? Why are you not bothered by the dark actions we're taking against you? Why are you still going? They want you to, to stand down. They said, nah, <laughs> this ain't what you think it is, sonny. Look, this is a this this battle has turned into a full blown W A R, and you are up against the Most High. You see someone, they see you. This is what they see. Maybe some young boy, young girl, and they think this is what they're going up against. This is just a vessel. This is just a vessel. But what's within that vessel is what you need to be worried about. That's what you need to be worried about. What is in this vessel? Nothing but pure divine energy. 
And that energy has the authority to call judgment in your life because they are ordained by the Most High. Someone has knowledge that a lot of you do not have and never will have. And this is why every time you take action to cause them an ending, you don't realize, you don't understand why you're the one going through the endings. You don't understand how something backfired. You're going through another, another tower. Or uh, uh, this is what's coming, I'm telling you. And this is judgment. These towers are going to keep coming one after the other. You're not safe. Your future's bleak. A group of people partner up with someone to seal their own fit because of jealousy. I'm telling you, this is your future. Going to have to be sneaking around to meet your, make ends meet. Looking for the next hand to steal from. You steal right now, but it's about to get real desperate. There's a whole lot of lessons you're about to learn. Still mix is what's up ahead of you. For what? For stealing from someone you should not have stolen from. You curse your generations, your bloodlines. So this is your future. Blockages, uncertainty, still mix, conflicts, right? And the whole time you're trying to stay calm. There are masculines in here trying to stay calm, trying to keep a B resting face, trying to stay stoic. That stuff don't work. It's not going to save you. Staying calm throughout the situation is not going to help it blow over. It's not blowing over, okay? It's not going to blow over. Everything is still here. So you want this chapter to end? Whatever you all have been destroying in these people's lives, the blockages you've been putting in there, you're going to have to remove it. You may want to go talk to your elder again. I'm telling you, go talk to your elder again. Tell them exactly what you did, why you did it. Tell them why you did it because of jealousy. You did it because of insecurity. You did it because you're obsessed with someone. They have gifts and abilities that you don't have. Go talk to your elder and talk to them in confidence, I guess, if you can do that. If you can do that. Some of you struggle with your confidence. This is why you think it's okay to come out here and do things like this. And you're going through an ending. The truth is being seen. The truth is, is out. There's nothing you can do to block it. Okay? There's nothing you can do to block it. You did this for money. You don't want someone to be independent, so you've been blocking their finances, their resources, their income, everything. You're determined to defeat someone, but you've already been defeated. Already been defeated. I'm telling you. This, this is your future. This is what's up ahead of you all. This is your future. And you want to come out of that, change your future, you may want to start balancing things out. Balancing things out. You all wanted to humble someone, right? You wanted to humble someone? Okay. The universe is about to show you who's about to, who's, who needs to be humble. You said you wanted to humble someone. Someone around you says that we need to humble this person. And the universe is stepping in, just like I said, to humble you all. Okay? Okay. Balance is coming in, honey. Someone is about to be real educated. You're about to be educated. Practical education. <laughs> Hands on education from the universe. Hands on. You're living in fear because you know what's, a, what's up ahead of you. Everything you plan is being exposed. Everything you plan, everything you've been doing is exposed. So keep on planning. And they have nothing to worry about. Those star seeds, they have nothing to worry about. Okay? They're going to defeat you, honey. You're already defeated, just like I said. Already defeated. There's a queen of pentacles behind here that's defeated as well. She didn't see this coming. Oh, is that you on the bottom again? Oh, okay, dear. Is that you on the bottom, ma'am? You, you're going through a rough time behind the scenes. Are people rejecting you because it's young empress for who she is? You've been telling lies for a long time, saying that an empress is toxic. Okay. And everything you've done to them, they've still been, they're, they're still been able to move on. Their ancestors are still moving them to karma waters and elevating them in life, in society. And you're disappointed by this because you're freaking malicious as heck, burdened, broken, bruised, unhealed, unwilling to heal. You look like a clown in front of your friends. Uh, clown. You look like a clown. People don't want to be associated with you. You told a lot of lies. You lied on someone. Now the truth is out. You want to pick a fight with someone. They don't care about your nonsense. They like, stay away from this person. Source has kept you out of their yeah. Source is keeping you out of this person's energy. Like, this is this is not your this is above your pay grade. Uh-huh. We're telling you gently now. 
that's a warning. <laughs> Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Stop trying to go above your pay grade. You haven't worked to come up here. And until you do the work, stay down there. Someone wants to pick a fight with you because this is what you're destined for. They don't want you to have it. Someone is just a little girl and she's been permitted to be a little girl her whole life. This is why she behaved this way. So the people around them, they have to blame themselves as well. They've allowed an old grown woman to act like a child. And then you have all grown men behind the scenes coming after a young energy, whether man or uh, whether, uh, male or female. All of them coming together to destroy one person and they're not able to and never will be able to. All your malicious plans are exposed. You may have someone that's taking some type of action to tell the truth. You have an empress that wants to pick a fight with another empress. And she's only an empress because of what her age her status as a wife or a mother because empresses don't what they don't go fighting they don't pick fights with people okay if you see a, a, a true empress fighting that's because someone started a fight with them and they're defending themselves okay they don't start it they finish it so you have someone out here that wants to pick a fight with you because too much is exposed yeah too much is exposed too much is exposed they're losing a lot behind the scenes they are losing a lot. Emotions are all over the place. How are we not able to defeat this person? What do we do? How do we move on from here? You're stuck. You're stuck. You're not moving on. You're stuck. And this is justice in the situation. You're lose, you've lost a lot of money. And you're going to keep losing money. Oh, honey, it gets worse. This is you and this is you. It gets worse. This is just the beginning. There you go again. You don't want to show your face. You're in hiding. Oh, I said you're in hiding. You are hiding. You don't want people to see you because you're embarrassed. You told a lot of lies. You were determined to destroy someone. You went from what, like a 10 of pentacles to a four of pentacles and you're on your way. What? Oh, honey, you don't really digress. You went from the 10 of pentacles, five of pentacles, two to four of pentacles. You're barely holding on like myself here barely holding on what in the world honey what kind of dumbness is this you're about, <laughs> are you about to be begging on the street for money oh you really have to run with the wrong earth angel honey you have to round after round you have to round honey i'm telling you whoever you are coming after is coming out of a uh, life you were blocking someone's pathway that's why they were in this energy these types of energy, starsies, empresses, this is not the energy they're meant to be in. You were doing something behind the scenes and people didn't know that. And you went around telling a lot of lies and said that someone was not blessed by the Most High. Someone didn't, was not favored. Someone was not abundant. Why were they not abundant, darling? It's because you were blocking their uh, uh, offers. You were blocking their opportunities. You were having them being rejected. Every time you did something, though, what happened? You know what happened. The universe gave them something better. You tried to make it impossible for some of these people to have work, to find work. And so they were decided to open their own businesses, create new opportunities for themselves. And what did you do, your bitter Betty, your bitter B-I-T-C-H? What did you do? You went and interfered with your businesses. And they said, oh, no, honey, not this time. I'm protecting my business. I'm protecting my business and it is going to flourish. I've invested a lot into this. You stay over there in your toxicity, your old way of doing things, your small-minded little girl activity. Stay over there in that. They knew exactly what was up ahead of them. They say, I may be going through something right now, but I know in the future, I'm not going to be successful. I just need to keep going. Look at that. Would you look at that, Betty? Well, you look at that, your bitter B-I-T-C-H. Abundant. Abundance. More abundance. Abundance. And their ancestors were watching you the whole time. Whole time. And so was the universe. They were watching you. This person is well connected to stores. This is someone that gets their wish fulfillment from stores. Anything they ask for, they get it. 
They don't have to ask twice. The universe is their way. We've been waiting for you to just say the word. You just say the word and we're there. There you go. It said we're plugging you up out of here and right into abundance where you belong. We just needed you to trust us. Some of you collective members, members of the Soul Tribe, you don't even know the amount of abundance that's coming uh, coming towards you is a secret. The Most High is not revealing it to you because every time the Most High reveals something, you know what? These morons, these dark workers, these bitter B-I-T-C-H-E-S are going to get reading so they can see into your future so then they can know what steps to take to block you. Something is being hidden from you and it's just no one knows what's coming ahead of you okay no one knows no one knows no one knows i'm telling you your abundance is ahead of you you are about to be living that good good life privileged woman privileged woman high value woman whatever the heck that means we all use that term but what does high value really means is different for everybody what high value is in the ghetto is different from what high value is in beverly hills so what the heck does this mean? It's different for each of you. So apply it where it fits. Apply it adequately. Okay? But you're be about to be someone of high value, high rank, influence, influential, affluent, all kinds of stuff. And it's coming out again. Abundance. Abundance. More abundance. Some of you are going from being single to being in happy relationships. Some, some of you are going from having to work by yourself to having partners. Uh-huh. Partners, supporters, business partners working with your whole community. Some of you are about to own successful businesses and the employees are going to love working with you. They'll say you're the best boss in the world and you are not going to have to worry about any of this toxicity because these people won't even have access to you. I'm telling you, your soul tribe is here. Here. About to connect with your soul tribe and these toxic Bettys and Billies of uh, bitter belly, excuse me, bitter belly. Be, look at that. I can't even get it out. They don't want us calling them what they are. Bitter Bettys and Billies. Uh, come on. You know what you are. You know what you are. You know what it is. You already know what the heck it is. I'm telling you, someone wants to pick a fight with you and your ancestors are stepping in to advocate for you. They're avenging you. They are interceding on your behalf and they have your enemies hanging by their tails. They say, I wish you would. They have them hanging in the air. <laughs> they don't tie them onto a rope, just a swinging them around upside down and say, uh-huh, we got you now. We, just, we, just, we were just waiting for you to bust that move. We got you now. They're out here hanging as some type of rotisserie chicken on a stick. Rotisserie rats, chicken, squirrels, all kinds of stuff. He said, we were just waiting for you. Now, they, now we got you. Okay? We don't told you to leave this person alone. We told you to leave this person alone since you didn't want to listen. And this is you. Losing your abundance. You don't martyr yourself. Right. Talking about I'm gonna, we're going to send this person in to play with your emotions. And source is looking at, we already showed this nonsense to this person, to our child. So they already know who you're sending. And as soon as this comes, she's she, he's going to tell them, I know who sent you, honey. Don't even waste your time. You, you're going to have to go back and tell them I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Yeah, he was coming to cause the illusion. He was going to lay it real good on you. Real good. We want you to partner up with us. We have a whole lot of businesses. We have enterprises. We own the whole country. Really? You own what? You own the whole country and you're spending your time doing this childish stuff. You own the whole state. You're well connected. And this is what you spend your time doing. And you think I'm about to participate. Are you mad? Do I look stupid to you? Are you dumb? How can people that, are, that consider themselves to be affluent be participating in low vibrational activities like this? Money doesn't buy class, obviously. Okay? Money does not buy class. Some people, they walk around because they have some money in their pocket. They think they're better than other people. But the way they carry themselves is disgusting and repulsive as heck. And they don't know it. They don't know it. 
until they come across you because you look young, vibrant, you're intuitive, gifted. They're, they're intimidated by you. So they make it their mission to try to destroy you. And the most high is that I don't think so, honey. You don't pick the fight with the wrong one. Your ancestors are just standing back waiting for someone to bust up move. These people wanted someone to, live, to be living in fear. They wanted you living in fear thinking you have some type of legal issues coming in. This stuff has nothing to do with you. You don't have any legal issues coming in. Any type of fraudulent activities these people did and tried to impose it on someone else or blame it on you, it's all exposed. So you don't have legal issues coming in. They do. You don't have problems coming in. They do. But they want you all living and thinking that you have problems going on. People don't want to be with you. You're rejected. You don't care about any of that stuff. Because you're always protected and secure. These beings will always avenge you. These are your avenging angels. You see how it came out? Avenging angels. Avenging angels. And they are committed to making sure you get your wish fulfillment. They are committed. Honey, they are laying down the law of the land. They're making it loud and clear who they support. And it ain't nobody in the karmic community going through an ending. They're making it loud and clear. We are committed to making sure this child gets what belongs to them. We have made our judgment. It is final. It's final. When an emperor says something, what? It's final. So this emperor is symbolizing a final decision that has been made. It's final. Nothing can be, I'm telling you, the decision is final. It is final. Ain't nothing going to change it. Someone's pissed up because you're not rejected. Someone's pissed up because people love you. People want to be around you. People want to hear you. People want to see you. People want to people want to be associated with you. Someone wanted people rejecting you. They try to destroy your future from all corners and nothing work. Is that someone saying, well, you know what? I'll just, you know, block you in every way. So let's see how you're going to move around. And the Most High said, well, this person, uh, they have the authority to cut judgment in their life and your life. So whatever they decide to do, you might want to be careful. If they wake up to who they are, which you did, <laughs> your ancestors, <laughs> your ancestors said, listen, listen, Maria, Maria, we need you to wake up. Because this girl here is playing a little bit too much with our bloodline. We don't play this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we goof off a lot, but we don't play this way. She's playing around a little bit too much, and we need you to wake up. Your ancestors started sending you messages, showing you signs that someone was playing around in your energy, and you needed to take care of business. Listen, when I started my spiritual journey in 2018, when I said, like, I was actually ready to start, honey, because... When you tell source, you tell your ancestors that you want to go through an ascension, you want to heal. That's what I told them. I wanted to heal and grow. Baby, make sure you are ready, ready. Because if you ain't ready, ready, it's a rude awakening. It's a rude awakening. Baby, when I said I went through it, I went to bed one night after I had said I was ready to go through my awakening. Who do I find outside my house? The Christ energy telling me it's time. I said, what well, time? <laughs> yeah. You said it was you said you were ready to heal. The Christ energy was right outside my home talking to me. From 2018 to what about 2022, 2023, I think. I went from meeting the Christ energy outside of my home to meeting the uh energy for Earth, the Earth Mother. Sitting down on a bench, having a conversation with me. Basically telling me that I had done well. Because the things I went through within those few years, no, I shouldn't be here today. Okay? I should not be here today. And I'm laughing saying that, but I'm so dead serious. I should not be here today. Okay? So when you decide that you're ready to go through your ascension... To answer your calling, you better be 110% sure that you are ready to go through it. Because they're going to put you through the ringer. Oh, honey, the testing, the testing. Oh, honey, it's the testing for me. One after the other. The educational materials, oh, it's relentless. They have endless. They never run out of uh, 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 
ideas on how you can grow. So, yeah, they may want to keep out of your energy because you're dangerous now. Your gift to manifest and call judgment into people's lives, it is frightening to someone in here. Someone is afraid of you. Someone is afraid of you. You don't even have to be a practitioner that's on the public in the public. You don't have to have a platform like myself. But some of you, earth angels behind the scenes, you're dangerous as heck when it comes to your manifestation gifts. When it comes to your ability to call judgment in people's lives. Your ability to see and discern. Your intuition is always flowing. You're, it's, you're very youthful. And that has to do with your ability to always be able to manifest. So your cup overrunneth. And you are in control of your emotions. You've achieved self-mastery. You went from this here to this here. And you are standing your ground. When people see you, they see an angelic character. Feeble, I guess. And then they try you and you're like, oh, huh. Wanna bet? You're out here like Chucky talking about wanna play? Oh, no, they don't wanna play with you anymore. It's too pricely. It's too costly to play in your energy. Okay, some of these people are getting sick from your energy, stealing from you, trying to steal from your energy. Some of them are sick because they don't have access to your energy anymore. This is how desperate they are. This is how desperate they are to be around you. Okay? Someone was waiting to hear bad news about you. They got good news that you are victorious. You are victorious. You are victorious. You're taking actions to secure your victory. They didn't expect you to still be going. Listen there. They say you should be down and out. Telling you you're about to be on the world stage. Your ancestors just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And doing it and doing it and doing it, right? I know that's a weird reference to use as a song for this here. But honey, we're going to use what comes to mind. They just keep doing it for you. Your future is secure. You have nothing to worry about. These people, they're more intimidated and, and frightful of you than you will ever be. You have nothing to fear from these people. Nothing. Okay? Nothing. At all. You have nothing. You're the spiritual judge, jury, and executioner. Because you've been ordained. You've been given the authority to be just that. So someone, they effed around with the wrong one. You could be a Scorpio. <laughs> I see some Pisces in here. But honey, I see a Sagittarius in here. There could be a Sagittarius doing something in here. Baby, you are honey. These people are burdened. Said we barked up the wrong tree. Yeah, this sure sure did. Okay, they can't bark up the tree anymore. It's like, let me think about this. This is not looking well for us. This is not looking well for us. I think we made a wrong choice. We made the wrong decisions. We made a wrong turn. We have to fix this. It's only going to keep getting worse. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's only going to keep getting worse. Because you all don't have foresight of what's to come. But guess what? The person you've been picking on, they have foresight of what's to come. Yeah. They have foresight. They see it clearly. They see it clearly at a distance. They see everything. The world is their oyster. The world is their oyster. Mm-hmm. The world is their oyster, and you are having a hard time deciding what to do. Yeah, you're having a hard time deciding what to do. You feel burdened. Someone keeps waking up every day. Someone keeps speaking up, keep walking, keep showing up to work. Someone keeps uh, coming out happy, well put together, well-mannered, poised, diplomatic, professional. That's, those are all qualities you were trying to undo. You said, no, they're not diplomatic. They're black and white. They don't see anything in between. Mm -hmm. They're drastic. They're impulsive. This is what you all were telling people. 
they're mentally they're mentally unstable they're trapped in their mind all the time and people started coming after this person and the person was like i don't know why these people are coming after me but i guess we'll find out we found out they, they have problem with your charisma someone told a lot of lies because you were charismatic you were a dream come true someone around them saw you as a dream come true they took offense to it is that how dare you choose that earth angel? How dare you want to partner up with that earth angel? I don't want you with that earth angel. That's not your place to decide who this person can be with. Because again, we all have our own destiny. We're all on a solo journey. We're not here to be in a group. It's okay to have a communal mindset as if it's positive. But you're not supposed to be like in some type of group thinking. Planning how to destroy someone. Planning how to end someone, planning how to hinder someone's future, working, having people criticize people or someone they don't even know at all. Because none of you know this person you've been coming after. Not on a personal level at all. At all. The time to compromise has passed. The time to compromise has passed. Now it's justice. There is no compromising. And you're going to keep going through these towers. You better move on and learn to heal. Move on, learn to heal. Try to heal. That's your only option. You're not coming to someone to give them a false offer. Keep your distance. Stay away. Because this is what this is the energy they're going to be in as soon as you come around. It's not because they're afraid of you. They're vigilant. They know who you are, what you've been doing. They're not afraid of you. You all have more reasons to fear this person than they have to fear you. I'm telling you, this is someone in direct connection with Source. They have no reason to fear you all. Okay? Uh-huh. And you know it. Someone in here is bothered by someone's gifts and abilities. This doesn't even have to be a practitioner that you are afraid of. You just know someone is not to be played with. And your narcissism in you is still pushing you to keep going, keep going, keep going after him. Keep going after her. You're going to succeed. You're not going to succeed. You're damaging your life. This is you and this is you. You're about to go through exactly what you put someone through or exactly what you tried to put someone through. People are going to be rejecting you. People are rejecting you because you're like death. You're the plague. All you come with is destruction, failure, rejection. So people are separating themselves from you. You have to play it. You come with difficulties. You complicate things for people. You make life hard for people. And they're starting to see you for what you are. And they don't want to be associated with you. They're moving on with their lives. They want to heal and live abundantly, genuinely, honestly. Some of these people didn't have a problem with being a thief before, but now they're waking up. They're like, what the heck? Nah, I don't want to be part of that anymore. I want to live a fulfilling life. And some of them, they drank the Kool-Aid, drank the Kool-Aid, drink, they kept drinking the Kool-Aid so they can't see straight. They're still committed to causing you an ending and it's not going to go the way they think it's going to go. I'm telling you, it's not going to go the way they think it is. These people are living in fear and anxiety. They don't know what to expect. Because they thought you were done. You were out. He said, you told us. Yeah, <laughs> listen. You told us this person was down and out. You told us they were living in fear. You told us someone had anxiety. You told us someone was dependent, was codependent. This person don't give two hits. Someone don't give two hits. Someone don't mind starting over. Someone does not care about rejection. Someone does not care at all. So everything we've been doing has been in vain because we're the ones living in fear and anxiety. This person don't give two hits what we're doing. As far as they're concerned, we don't even exist. So what was all this for? What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason, Becky? What was the reason, Baron? What was the reason? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you intimidated by someone? Are you obsessed with someone? Huh? You feel entitled to someone's energy. You don't have the ability to manifest on your own. You don't have the ability to manifest. The Most High does not favor you. 
because of what you've done to other people. Everything you've done, honey, is being held against you because of this one energy you went after. You were being given chances and chances and chances and chances to take a different route. What did you do? You felt invincible and powerful. I have a whole institution behind me. No, 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 no. That institution, they're putting an end to their relationship with you. They said, this is it. You know how Michael Jackson said, this is it. Right? With the leg twist and everything, the knee bend, tippy toes. This is it. This is it. They're putting an end to their uh, relationship with you. So some, yeah, they're putting an end to it, honey. Oop. Oop, 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 oop. Oop, 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 oop. You've caused them too much. You brought too many burdens to them. Bird, I'm telling you, this is it. The decision is final. You're at a stalemate. You're going to be given an option to either apologize and fix what you broke or you can move on. But your ego, oh, honey, your ego is about to lead you down a path. You better make the right decision because if you're done, this emperor here ain't playing with you. He's sick of you. He's sick and tired. He's tired, tired. He said, I'm too old for this mess. What kind of nonsense is this? Now, what can be this? What can be this? I'm tired. Karen, I'm tired. Sally, I'm tired. Melissa, I'm tired. Let me be. I'm telling you. He, this is this emperor. He's the head of this organization. And he's tired. So, Karen, don't be... Um, he's... Listen. Melissa, Karen, Sally, Becky, whatever. Baron, whatever. Don't be coming to us with no superficial friendship offer. We, we already know what you've been up to. We see you. That mask, maybe other people don't see the mask yet, but you know we see the mask. We know it's a mask on your face. Okay? We know what you are behind there. So don't come to us trying to offer us some type of friendship. We don't want your friendship. I'm telling you, you know we know. You know that we know that we know that you know that you know that we know. You know that I know that you know that I know that you know. What the F is up? Okay, Becky, Sally. Well, you know, Marianne, I'm telling you, Marianne, you know that we know. You know. Okay? A, a, high, a high priestess may have ascend, uh, ascended or not really ascended. She, um, what is it? I guess, uh, let's just say transition. She transitioned. There's someone here, a, Earth, a soul tribe member. Whoever this practitioner was behind the scenes, stealing from your energy and things like that, blocking your intuition and things. She, a sister, then went back home. She don't went back home. Excuse me. She, she was. She had a whole business of doing ritual, doing rituals, round the clock. I'll show you. You think you're a high priestess? That that was her. She saw you in this energy. I'll show you. You think you're a high priestess? I'll show you who a real high priestess is. And she started coming for you and coming for you. And you didn't you didn't even know who this woman was, by the way. You didn't know who she was. But she made it her mission to do rituals on you. Because someone told her or someone paid her to come after you. And it wasn't working. So her ego got the best of her. And the most high told her, hey, this ain't what you want. You're barking up the wrong tree. You don't see something clearly. You're not seeing clearly. Your intuition is telling you not to partake in this. You may want to listen. Oh, no, 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 no. Sally said she had to keep going. Yeah, she should have went within and listened to her intuition. And now Sally is no longer here. She don't transition back to the spirit realm. And they're just looking at her like, oh, she's back again. This lifetime, she didn't fulfill her mission. She's back. No, nah, they're just looking at her with disappointment. They're like, go to sleep, Sally. Go to sleep for a thousand years. When you awake, we'll try this again. We'll take another whack at it. Yeah, we'll try again because all this nonsense you were doing didn't lead to nothing for you. And a lot of you in here, this is it. All the illusions, right? 
everything. You think you have opportunities and things coming in. You think you're going to be manifesting off of someone's energy, astral projecting into people's energies and things like that without their permission. Someone told you all, stay out of my energy. Someone already made a judgment that no one is allowed in their energy, whether awake or asleep. Their angels have been given permission to act on their behalf. And every time you all astral project, something is going to happen to someone. They will either wake up sick or they're going to be losing a lot, a lot, a lot of resources. So keep on trying. The last time one of you tried to astral project to someone's energy, it didn't end too well. They woke up a little bit different. That's because they're stuck somewhere. Mm, they're stuck. Stuck somewhere. They're in spiritual jail. They ain't coming out. They ain't coming out. Because someone wouldn't stop. This is why their life is flipped, turned upside down in the real world. Okay, like Bel Air. Flipped, turned upside down. They are not thinking their manager is sitting right there. Because more than likely, the manager was encouraging them to keep going. And maybe the manager even got to a point and said, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't think you should do it anymore. Sister kept going and said, oh, okay, well, I wash my hands off of this. Like Pontius Pilate, Pontius Pilate washed his hands off of Jesus' situation. He said, I'm not in this. Mm, no, you're in it. You're in it. You're the Lord of the land, right? And you can make the decision to free Jesus from this situation. But you're saying that you're washing your hands and leaving him to the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the hypocrites. And you know what they're about to do to this man, right? And you're talking about you wash your hands off of it, his, uh, his, the sins, uh, the sins of uh, destroying this man or executing this man is not on you. Nah, his blood are not on your hands. Nah, punch his palate. That's not how that works. That ain't how that work. That is not how that works. You have the authority in this situation to make judgment. And you're refusing to make judgment. Okay? There's a woman in here. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, your ancestors are making sure. They're taking action on your behalf to make sure these people do not get their fulfillment. They don't get their fulfillment. They're not getting it. And then, nope. 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 All avenues is nope for you all. Nope. Nope. Mm-hmm. Exposure. You said someone is not happy. There's a group that's not happy because either you're going to be receiving some type of good news or you receive some type of good news. They're not happy about it. Yeah, good news, good news, good news. Growth, acceleration, balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's coming in quickly. This is not something they can block. Yeah, this is insured. This new beginning, this new offer, your, your new life, whether it's you being able to establish your business on your own, move forward with your life, or you're getting some type of clarity of what people have been doing behind the scenes, who's who in the situation. Uh huh. It's all being, oh, honey, this, this woman here, she was about to come out. She doesn't want to come out. You know why? Because this one here is in isolation. She's in isolation. She's trying to hide her face, hide her D's, hide her face, hide her D's. It's, it's too late to be hiding. She's really hiding from the embarrassment. Someone is ashamed. Yeah, because she was coming in to destroy you and she destroyed herself. The truth is exposed about what she was planning for you. Something went from ha 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 from something being done behind the scenes to I want to off her. I want to off him. What? Someone went from having entertainment out of blocking your pathway, your opportunities, your relationships and connections to wanting to off you. Why? Because everything they were doing was not working. You weren't hurt enough. You weren't broken hearted enough. You weren't disappointed enough. Someone broke up a home. Someone broke up a home, destroyed a, either a marriage or a relationship, destroyed a family. And because you didn't fall down and just give up in life, she wasn't happy. 
So she kept going, kept getting more creative on ways to cause blockages and endings in your life. Someone is just broken, rejected, unhealed. The money can fix what's broken in them. Now that the money is even gone, or is all about to be gone, <clears throat> she got nothing. Can't flex anymore that she's wealthy because someone went all out. She, she was rolling out, rolled out. You get 10000 for blocking them. You get 100000 You get 15000 Honey, are you dumb? Someone undid themselves. She undid herself. Now you need to sit down and do the math, Becky, Sally, Marisa. I don't know why these names keep coming up, but they may be relevant to some of you. I need you to sit down and calculate how much money you spent trying to block someone and they're still out here confident as can be, still out here headed for victory or having victory coming towards them. What was the reason, Melissa? What was the reason, Karen? What was the reason, Sally? What was the reason, Becky? What was the reason? Cardi B and I want, want, want to know, what was the reason? What was the reason? No reason? Oh, you're just hateful and bitter? That's it? So your bitterness led you to go into your bank account, take money out of there, and give it to different people to block someone's life. That, mm -hmm, you ain't the brightest crayon in the box. I'm telling you, you don't went from this to this. Went from this to this. And someone is still getting their wish fulfillment. Source is still granting their wishes. Mm -hmm. You hinder your finances because of bitterness. I'm telling you. You hinder your finances because of bitterness. You thought you were better than someone else because you had money. You ain't worth a dime because of the things you participate in. In. You're bruised and broken. You're hiding. Why are you hiding? Come outside, Janisa. Come outside, Jasmine. Come outside, Sally. Come outside. You know how you were all bold with your friends and stuff, your colleagues, gathering them around about how an earth angel was about to pass away, about how an earth angel was about to be unemployed and stuff like that. Come outside. You don't want us to see you anymore. Come on in, Caroline. The weather, the water is great. Come on in, Caroline. There's nothing to fear in the light. Oh, you don't want to go to the light? Because in order to go into the light, you got to face your demons. And your demons are a little bit too much for you. Ain't that right, Melissa? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Your demons are a little bit too much for you. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're a little bit too much for you, but you're being forced to walk away. This dumb dumb here, honey, I can't talk about, I, I can't. The energy is just all over the place. Someone's going to have to walk away, just to walk away. If you all want to have any type of hope of recovering, uh, if you want to have any hope of having some type of calm or peace in your life, you may want to drop all of these burdens that someone has helped you create in your lives, thinking you are creating creating them for someone else. Drop those burdens, i.e. drop the person that's been leading you astray. Get away from them. Get away from them. You have someone coming here. I don't know if this is someone you were friends with, a feminine energy. She may be coming towards you. Wants to give you an opportunity. You don't need an opportunity from this person. You have better opportunities ahead of you. You're going to be traveling and when you get to your destination, there's a brand new passionate beginning for you there. And this is something that's coming towards you very quick and the most high is still hush hush about this, but they want you to know you have a blessing coming your way and there's nothing these haters are going to be able to do to block you from receiving it. Okay? 
What is the lesson today, people? Never go into your bank account to take money out of there to pay to block someone's future. You don't have the authority to do that. You have no authority over anyone else's life or destiny or their path. The only person you have authority over is yourself. And if you don't feel like you have authority over yourself, that's because you've given your power away to someone else. Okay? And there's a masculine in here. Someone's light irritates the demon in them. And then there's another one. Your light does not irritate his demon anymore. He's going through some type of ascension or awakening. And good for you. Y'all stay over there. Okay? Collective, you have beautiful news coming in. Okay? You're going to be partnering up with your new soul tribe. Honey, you're going on a whole new journey. A whole journey. And this journey is symbolic of all the marvelous work you've marvelous work you've done spiritually, your growth. You started here and you ended up here. You've accomplished something. You started here and you ended up here. Marvelous, darling. And there go this group. There they go. Mm-hmm. There they go. Dang. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Source is good all the time. All the time. Source is good. Hallelujah. 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 Praise be the source. Hallelujah. 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 Praise be to source. New heights. Look at that. New heights. New heights. The most high is elevating you all to new heights. Oh my God, that's beautiful. It said new heights. Let your connection with spirit ground you as you reach for the sky. Reach for the sky. Growth potential. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful, seven, the number of luck, protection from the spirit realm. Uh, you're, you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gave you a greater awareness than most. I am brilliant. I'm telling you. And that brilliance is allowing you to reach new heights in life. Look at that. Oh, someone is about to go to a whole new level that they do not even know. Oh, you're about to be upgraded by spirit. Spirit said, let me, let me upgrade you, upgrade you, partner. Let me, let me upgrade you, upgrade you. Oh, someone is, going, someone is being upgraded by spirit. Look at you. Okay. You and Source are out here like Jay-Z and Beyonce, but that ain't the latest news. So, mm, not in the way they've been being exposed right now. You know, the old, old them we didn't know nothing about. Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. He said, allow changes. Okay. View change as a way to grow, not as a threat. Unlock new possibilities. Yes. That's the mindset we need to have. One, you are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunities. You, your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through rough times and, and reach success. I am innovative. Yes, your determination. Thank you. That is why a lot of times these kind of energies will try to take from you, try to burden you and things like that. But honey, that determination and endurance, it is wearing them out because you're still standing and they don't know how you're still standing. And it's nothing but the grace of source that you are still standing because they are avenging you. Oh, they are avenging you. They are avenging you. They don't play about you. They say, oh, 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 oh. Because this person committed themselves to their journey. Oh, honey, you best believe we're making sure they get everything, okay? Everything, everything they want. Behind the veil, welcome uncertainty as an opportunity for growth and be okay not knowing. Give up control. Mm -hmm. 
we're gonna let that speak for itself anyways thank you so much for watching folks stay blessed i'll see you in the next free and goodbye for now or you'll see my hands